opened Uptown in 2004, and your target demographic is affluent American, African American readers. The publishing industry today is in a deep recession. A lot of our attendees today wrote to us to say that they want to start a publishing biz. Is now a good time? Don't do it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I would say that, you know, listen, there, there are opportunities in every environment. I think uh, it comes down to the idea. It comes down to the assessment of your skills and the, uh, the opportunity that you may have uh, directly in front of you. Uh, you know, if you're publishing something on uh, media or trade advertising, probably not the best time to go into that, but if you're looking at money, if you're looking at, you know, building wealth, if you're looking at, you know, health and wellness, if you're looking at some of the categories uh, that there may be some funding available, uh, that might be uh, an opportunity that you see. Uh, there's critical sort of decisions that you need to make if you're in the publishing business. Uh, you're a revenue-generated business. Uh, you have to have some connections to advertising. Uh, certainly a business plan helps if you're looking for funding. Uh, it is almost impossible to get funding with a sound business plan. Uh, and then if you don't have a business plan, I would say don't even try and get uh, funding. If you're personally wealthy, uh, you're probably smart enough to not go into publishing, uh, so uh, you, you, you can take that off of, off of your uh, plate at that point. But uh, I think every economic uh, environment creates opportunities, and you just have to be positioned to understand what those opportunities and what the economic climate looks like, and then develop uh, your idea based on that opportunity. Business is worthy, but you can't make it an economic success you don't leave your, you, you want to make sure you leave yourself a cushion so you don't put yourself in personal ruin. Yeah, I, I think uh, that what is what makes you an entrepreneur. I, I don't know that there's always protection. Uh, I think if you believe in your business, uh, you, you have to take some gambles. Uh, I think obviously you don't want to put 100% of your net worth into any particular business or any investment tool. Uh, but certainly uh, the first sign of, of sort of your belief in the business is to put your money where your mouth is. Uh, you know, it's not for everybody. Uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've been in uh, probably 15 or so startup businesses during my career as an employee or as an owner. Uh, I read an article probably four or five years ago that uh, most entrepreneurs fail 12 times before the successful business. That's the average. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm past 13, so my time is <laughs> hopefully come. Uh, I hope that includes but, product, projects that you had in high school or college. Otherwise, you start to get very old before yeah, one of them. Yeah, I, I count everyone. I mean, from T-shirt businesses to selling candy to whatever it was. Uh, it, it all goes to sort of your personal development uh, and understanding business. You know, I think the most critical piece as an entrepreneur is you have to sort of work in the industry that you're going to try and start your business in. I think that getting a well-rounded sort of understanding how those businesses function, what the tools are. Uh, hopefully you work in a successful business uh, so you know uh, what to do and what not to do when those uh, critical decisions come up. Uh, before you go out and try to start something that you've never done before, I strongly recommend that you go and work in one of the leaders in that industry uh, to get that valuable experience. And then uh, go out once you you know, once you feel, realize that you're a terrible employee uh, and you think that you can do it better than your bosses can do it, then that's probably where the light goes. And that's my aha moment when I realized that I was, you know, a terrible employee uh, and I felt that I could do it better than everybody that I worked for uh, was when I started to build the plan to go out on my own.